this CPU is a QL2X. It is an engineering sample of i7-7820 HK mobile CPU converted to LGA-1151 socket. There are a few videos made about this CPU, but they have not addressed everything about it. In this video I will find out if this can be actually used as a daily driver. So this CPU costs 68 euros without a motherboard or 90 euros with an ITX MOBO. This video is about the CPU plus motherboard combo. When buying only the CPU, a special BIOS needs to be flashed which isn't necessarily available for all motherboards. Depending on your location, of course shipping, import fees and Taobao agent fees will be added. I quickly Google translated some of the feedback which the seller has received and it seems to be mainly positive. The company behind this seems to be called Shenzhen Plus Technology. I've bought four of these CPU plus motherboard combos in three different orders. This motherboard is bigger than standard mini ITX, so it will not fit all mini ITX cases. Between each order, the metallic plate holding down the CPU seems to have evolved some, so it looks like they are developing this product all the time. This board is the first one I ordered. In this version the plate is a little higher than the CPU die which can prevent good contact with some coolers. That may be one of the reasons why they have changed the design to this. One of my orders arrived with these copper sims that can be installed between the die and the cooler. That order also had these Torx screwdrivers included which can be used to replace a regular socket with this special QL2X plate. As you can see here, the CPU is BGA soldered onto a converter PCB, which is held down by the metallic plate. I actually had a problem with the first board that I ordered. It would always freeze during post. I discussed the problem with the seller via email and WhatsApp and he eventually sent me a BIOS file which I had to flash myself. I ordered a USB BIOS programmer for that purpose. After flashing the BIOS the board has worked flawlessly. Communication with the seller was very slow, which probably isn't the seller's fault. He has to use VPN to communicate due to the Chinese web censorship. I'll put links to this BIOS programmer and to a tutorial which taught me to use that. This board and CPU are from the last order I made. BIOS chip has a different label and the metal plate is different again. The die has a yellow protective film. The BIOS looks otherwise normal, but the CPU is recognized as 0000, 000 and all PCIe slots run at Gen 2 speed instead of Gen 3. This shouldn't have any effect with almost any GPU though. There is a OC tweaker option in the BIOS, but 
this is apparently for BCLK hour clocking which isn't true hour clocking. I set all cores to 3.1 GHz. As you can see here it is recognized as Skylake 6820HQ but it says also Cable Lake. Running Cinebench R20 it keeps all the cores at 3.1 GHz. I set all the cores at 3.2 GHz and also installed a better cooler though it wasn't really needed. This helped to achieve our 100 points in R20. Thermals are very low so there would be lots of headroom for way higher clocks but when I set higher clocks 4 GHz for example it keeps those clocks only when the CPU isn't under full load. When running Prime95 or R20 it automatically down clocks and hovers around 3.2 to 3.4 GHz. I've tested plenty of different games and had no problems it performs like expected. CPU even stays at 4 GHz when not under full load. Bad quality of the footage is due to format conversion for iMovie. The corrupted BIOS in one of the motherboards has been the only issue I have had so far and that was solved by reflashing the BIOS. One board has been in continuous use for some time now. There has been one issue with that build but that turned out to be power supply issue. After replacing that power supply there has been no issues. I also have the other board sold by the same seller. It is quite similar I might make a video about that one too. Part 2 to this video is coming soon on this channel. In that part I will install this CPU on a Z270 motherboard. I will test proper overclocking of this CPU, NVMe performance and Optane compatibility among other things.